Okay, I'm going to show you a couple of basic uh, three strand splices. The first one is joining two ropes together, and I've been up to Tzika Marine here in Provetsa, who very kindly give me two lengths, one metre long each. Uh, by doing that, you can make, it makes it clearer what's going on, and then I'm going to put a loop into this as well, so you can then see how to splice three strands into that. So the first thing is, uh, with any uh, nylon or polypropylene rope, Make sure the ends are heat sealed and you can basically break them out like this very gently. There we go. And the secret on this, oh, here we go, it doesn't want to do it the first time. So you get those three open, always put a bit of tape round. Do the same on this one. And then you basically want to hold that in such a way that that one and that one drop together. Like so, I always put a bit of tape around because if you spend your life chasing one down the other. So basically, at that point you hold one end or the other end, it doesn't really matter which you start with, but you don't want to go, go much more than that. Pull it tightly into the tape you've got. At that point, be brave and try and take the tape off without letting go to anything. And then you'll see that you can lay this blue rope over this one and under that one there. I'll just try and take that bit off, I've got a marlin spike here. Build duct tape. Right, so over that one and under that one. It's really important to hold tight to this while you do this first couple. This one here again, over this one and under that one. So that goes through there. And then turn it round still holding on to everything for dear life and over one and under one there so we've actually got our first one started now my dad always used to tell me to do the second one as well at that point before you let go uh, so then I do another one over one and under one and I haven't let go of the neck of the rope turn it round still holding on to every bit of rope you can possibly do with your hands over one, under one, and then here's the last one. I've turned it back on itself to make it easier for me. My wrists are not that ambidextrous, so that's that. Now I will come back very quickly, give that a little pull, and then taking that, I've firmly held that without letting go to it. And now I'll take this bit of tape off. Hopefully, this one will come off easier than the other one. Here we are. And then I'll do the same here over one, so over this one, and under that one. Gently turn it over this one and under that one. The plaiting bit is simple, it's just knowing how to start. And then over one and under one here. And that's basically almost join these two ropes together. So that's that. I haven't let go of anything yet. Over one, under one. Bring it back on itself. Over one, under one over one, under one. At this point you've now got the two ropes joined together. Rub it gently in your hands just to get a bit of shape to it and then you can slowly start to pull these very carefully. You might get another splice in each one if you're lucky. Let's pull that one back through there, it's been a bit naughty. And so that's basically joined the two ropes together. Ta -da! I would have rather done another one, but for the video, that's what I'm just doing there. So that's that's uh, joining two ropes together, and I'll now do uh, making a loop. Okay. Right. So putting the loop in for a cleat, or just a loop on the end of a mooring line, or something like that, or fenders, it's important to do at least three uh, splices. So basically, you take your piece of rope. This is uh, uh, 14 mil. So I reckon it's going to be about there somewhere. So I will now unwind obviously we've done the two different colors to make it easier for you to see what on earth I'm doing at speed and you can slow it down or whatever you want to do so basically I'm unwinding this back to one two three so we should have three now again with the three laid in like this the important bit is to get this first bit right if you get this first bit right uh, wrong it always looks a mess so basically off the two ropes together and you'll see that it will start to become obvious that that one wants to go there so it lays on the top so it's top to top ok 
Okay. Turn it round. This one wants to come in under here. So it's back on itself and it's important it's in the rope that's opposite this one. Because if not, when you start uh, splicing up the rope, you'll be all over the place. Bring that one in there and then the last one goes in the one that hasn't got one, which is here. Okay, so in here, so over that one and through that one. And that's the one that a lot of people get wrong. So bring that one in there, and you know you've got it right because when you look at it, you'll see that that's entering the, entering the, the um, laying alongside the rope quite nice and neatly. So bring that in there, like so, give it a little twist, and then it's very simple weaving, literally over one and under one. Turn it round, I always do it towards me, so over one, under one. Turn it towards you, over one, under one, and if you have four strand it's exactly the same, but just takes a little bit more at the start. The start is the hardest part. As you can see that rope is now neatly laid into there, and I can just give that a little bit more tension now and it will pull that rope right in. I'll do, an I'll do another couple very quickly if I've got time on the video, just so you can see the over one, under one. Lovely warm afternoon here in Provetsa today, yeah, okay. and uh, we're doing this. There goes the Harbour Master Nikki on her bicycle. If you have come to Provetsa, great welcome you will get from her. So that's the three in there now. I'll just give that a nice little roll with my hands. Bigger ropes you can do with your foot, but as you can see, that is now laid in there beautifully. And that is just a basic three-strand ropes rope splice. Hope that's of use to you guys, uh, really appreciate your feedback and thanks for watching.